Oh, I forgot to update Greater to be hook. Donkey Ote had stopped dead in her tracks. She was looking blankly at a section of the wall. See anything interesting, Kiro? Here, in the wall. Huh? There's a person in this wall. Maybe it's a sculpture. If there's anyone capable of sculpting something so true to life as this, I drop everything and plead the artist to take me in as their student. I like... Ryoshi doesn't talk much, and when she does, it's either vulgarities or abbreviations. Her saying this and, like, pushing her art stuff is something you usually only see in some of the identities. I'm glad she's talking to talk about her art. <laughs> obsession. This is why she has a blind obsession. She is fixated on her art, and yes, I have read her story. <laughs> no. Are they the people <laughs> Pilot was looking for? <laughs> Keen my words. Why the heck would you talk to him? Embedded agent. Behold, this man is alive! Oh, this is the worst. This is actually the worst. It's making me real queasy. Hmm. Hark, my friends. This man is alive. We must free him from this bond post haste. Even if we wanted to, it looks like it's a bit late for him. Total disassembly is the only way I see it ever getting out of there. What? Well, by now we should be getting used to these failures. The body is firmly lodged in the walls. No order human strength could separate his body from it. With superhuman strength, you risk tearing the body to several parts. Fie. This is an evil that cannot go unanswered. Impressive. There's no sign of anyone forcing it into the walls. It's quite a natural exhibition, as though this was how it was conceived from the very beginning. We thought, I thought it would be different this time. We made a promise, we gave our word. Unlike the other sinners, Ismail didn't even spare a glance to those that were trapped within in the walls. Manager, staring at them won't magically summon the golden ball into your hands. Say something so we can get a move on. I guess there's nothing we can do for them, still. And I've said it repeatedly that I don't want to waste time. We don't have to worry about the laws of the lake here, so why don't we make this a more leisurely? Sure, live around all you want, but you won't find any survivors here. <coughs> a testament against I claim is right here. Those things aren't really alive. They're only pretending to be. Yet, I recognize it. They're ruins left behind by the thing. The thing that leaves nothing unchanged in its wake. It could swallow the world in the blink of an eye, but it also speeds into back out just as quickly. And when it speeds out, it never comes back right. Isn't it funny? If it's going to spew it out anyway, what's the point of devouring it in the first place? I don't understand. Why did it try to devour everything it comes across? Are you talking about that same whale you mentioned before? In no tales of adventure have I heard one mention of such a terrifying whale. Is it truly a whale? Then why didn't you listen when I told all of you that we weren't ready? If you did, at least we could have been in the right headspace for the lake. But no. So you're saying that... That the whale you meet... Uh, devoured this building. Yes. 
How can you be so sure of that? Because this pale ruin is what that whale leaves behind. Everything turns pallid, like this building. It... Me... Div... I have a visual on a suspicious individual. Maybe it's an abnormality. We're in a lobotomy court branch, after all. It's that LCB agent. Yeah, let's just say that's what's in. And it is, and chop it down. Wait, wait a minute. That might be a survivor. What? Didn't you say there won't be any survivors? Left here? Which is it? I did. That's why it's so incredible. Hey! Ishmael, you shouldn't get as so close to. Ishmael strides toward the figure. Maybe she's being mind controlled. By an abnormality? No such signs have been detected. There's nothing out of the ordinary in her eyes. The closer Ishmael gets, the more the figure's body has been taken over. Over by Palfed off white membrane, the voice grows increasingly incoherent. That's impossible. Just now, it was talking like a human. Ishmael? You saw it too, just now. It... Ishmael, you have to get away from... No, no, this can't be real. If, if what I've known my whole life about this place is about the Great Lake, she's experiencing heightened emotions. Damn it, Ishmael! I could have asked for one of the singers to stop her, but before I even realized what I was doing, I was running toward Ishmael. I think it was guilt that pushed me to act. Guilt that I may have played a part in driving Ishmael to this point. Dante, Dante you <laughs> mustn't. Oh. But a guilt can sometimes. But guilt can sometimes help. The fear face shifted again when I approached Ishmael. The white membrane covering their face begins to withdraw. As though it's an unforeseen force is peeling it off the skin. Their mouth doesn't come didn't come back, but the eyes that looked at us were unmistakably human shaped. They were blinking with effort. The membrane is gone? This when you approach it, this damn white membrane it faded. It appears that the golden bow is the counter is counteracting its effects. Bounced approach does. Dante, it appears that the share of the golden bow is lodged in your clock is counteracting the infection in this palatification effect to a degree. The figures whose mouth was still wrapped under a pallid membrane blinks wearily as though they could understand what we were saying. Counteracting. Wait, so with a golden bow, a mermaid can, huh? A mermaid can turn back into a human? Is that what you're saying? Did I get that right, Faust? Well, that theory has not been properly cross-examined. Just, just tell me if it's possible. Though it was Kurt, I had never heard such an intense desperation in her voice before. Yes. Although it may be limited to. Mermaids of the whale that presumably devoured the structure. Manager? Dante, just what are you? Realizing that there was something that I could have done, the memories of that day, the nightmare that I tried so hard to lock away, they're coming back right before my eyes. I can see them, vomiting, vomited from the whale, sinking, floating in the burning sea. All of them. Ishmael looked at me with a vacant expression. You heard it too, don't you? You heard how the waves roared that day. Ishmael was right. Emotions of the past began flooding, roaring before me. Ishmael. He stands alone in a sea of tall, rolling waves. I nodded carefully. Once I was a seafarer. A fixer. A sailor. I was something in that awkward middle ground which we call whalers. Do you understand? No. Do you see them? Do you see the looks on the faces of those who dare to wave 
Wager everything? And those who had nothing left to wager? Whaling ships carry people like them across the waves. So, you've seen it yourself, the whale that devoured this place. The whale we've met so far transformed those they devour into something completely different. Into something utterly unrecognizable from who they were by rearranging and replacing their whole body. But that whale is different. Those devoured by the pallid whale aren't transformed. They're still themselves, just wrapped in a pale membrane. It looks like it's not just harpoon marks. It looks like even just straight up mass might be jutting out in these like black splotches. Ah, I guess it's a choice to say that they're still themselves. Sometimes we sail our ship toward the outskirts. There, we see those ships. Those false ships. The ships that have turned completely pallid. It's an old wisdom among whalers that those ships must be avoided at all costs. Even if men going all the way around the lake they're in. Because the sailors consumed by the whale retain everything. Their habits, their skills. Except they wander the lake only to attack everything they come across. The captain of the Pequod, our ship, she had a mission to hunt the pallid whale with her own two hands. The entire time we sailed on the Pequod, she sermonized our ears off about what a worthy, honorable mission it was to hunt that whale. It was annoying, and we knew that she wasn't exactly all there, but... No, maybe she just knew how to sink the rest of us to the depths of her sanity. Her mission soon became our very own, to hunt that pallid whale, and became our salvation, our destiny. That captain drove everyone on that ship mad. When the time finally came to face that whale, the whale from which we... from which all hatred and all evils of the world sprouted, we were promptly crushed, devoured, reduced to a scattering pile of driftwood. When I came to, floating in the vast coldness of the sea, holding onto my dear life to a piece of driftwood, there was nothing left. Nothing. And when I realized what I was holding onto wasn't a piece of driftwood, but the... That's why I can never forgive her. At a certain point, this stopped being a conversation. Each meal word Earths grew increasingly aimless like a vortex of the sea, endlessly swirling in place. Now it's clear what Ishmael's mission was, where the tip of her razor-sharp harpoon aimed. It was aimed at the captain that drove them all to the damnation. An overwhelming tide of hatred and obsession burned fiercely in her direction. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Revenge was my initial thought. But her desperation to... of seeing what... the idea of potentially saving also... I'm going to kill her with my own two hands. There was no room for reason or rationality to convince her otherwise. I suppose bringing up that I saw what I, bringing up that I saw from Ishmael's obsession, a glimpse of her old captain won't do anything to help right now. Ishmael, we don't even know if that captain is still alive. I was desperately hanging on to my best mate's coffin. The coffin of someone with whom I'd shared everything. That's why when I, through the tempest, saw the captain. 
I saw that fucker standing alone, facing down that whale as she devoured her ship, laughing mad. Her fiercely loyal crew were floating on the surface of the outskirts sea, powerless to do anything but wait until they were too devoured. But none of that mattered to her. That bastard is alive. She has to be alive still. She has to be. So I have to find her. We have to. Not before we kill the captain. Ishmael? I wanted to ask her which we she was referring to, but I was starting to think that nothing I would, would, would say would improve anything if it didn't outright bring everything crashing down. That was where, that was when an inexplicable light breeze broke through the silence. A solitary butterfly. It moved with grace, tinging with fragility, as though it did not fear the weight made of this heavy silence. It took a moment to gently flutter in onto a puddle. That is a butterfly. <laughs> you think an ordinary butterfly would wander into a place like this? After a quick respite, the butterfly fluttered its wings and took off once again. It's like the butterfly is asking us to follow. Is it an abnormality? Finally, I was wondering when they'd show their ugly mugs. It might be a trap, but we're lost. It's the only thing with the sense of direction we have, have at the moment. I am in agreement. I am also quite intrigued by the butterfly. What do you think they are saying? I have been lending them my ear, yet none has yet to reach me. They are speaking with certain power, and though I am unable to decipher it, it is a code of sorts, a mix of sound frequency and encryption patterns. Ah. Don Quixote was at the far back the end of the line, looking back at the figure. I suppose it is true that without Manager Esquire, there could be no resolution to the predicament, to thy predicament. When I walked away, the pallid membrane grew over the face again, burying it, and it began to shamble. Is it as Ish Ishmael said, will they now roam the Great Lake, attacking everyone and everything they come across? Not only their physical senses, but also their sense of self, forgotten deep under the pallid membrane. Oh, that was so much! Oh my god, okay. So, okay, here are the white whales. I forgot this was also a fight chapter. Oh, that was a lot. So the game, they're basically telling us that the goal is revenge now. And seemingly in this version that Ahab continues, or at least is believed to be alive. So... Matching colors, please. That... So it looks like for the Moby Dick side, Ishmael mentioning the coffin, I... They could be maybe meaning it a bit more literally. Potentially it is Queequeg's body. Body palpid that Ishmael somehow... It floated, and that was what Ishmael was able to hold on to to stay alive. And saying the encased body in that um, goo membrane thing. But in Moby Dick, Queequeg does get a coffin made. So it could also just literally be the coffin. And that coffin later gets turned into a flotation device because they lose their other one. 
I don't remember exactly how, but they lose their other flotation device, so hey. We can turn the old the coffin into one because Squeak Squeak is originally potentially going to die. Also, I realized something. I do not have six. Okay. I haven't used Hong Lucy thing yet, so. But it could go either way with that. I'm fine with either way on it, but it is just a thought in regards to it. There's only another one thought I've had. Because we see me, are we also going to see a Captain Hook at some point, too? One thing I'm wondering. Uh, of all the mysterious body, a man with a flowing head was waiting for us there. A flowing head? Well, it's a man, so it's not Ahab. They made Ahab a woman, so that rules that out. Oh, without the sepia tone, that looks even freakier. Okay, immediate fight. Come on! Yes, you got it, Ryoshi. Damn, just... Oh, I keep forgetting to change him to the Hulk one. Damn it, Greg. I kind of wish support stayed to some degree. I get why they don't, but... Just be a little bit nicer if they do. Hopefully it actually goes off, because I want to see it. Oh, uh, I'm not going to be able to see it, am I? Because they're all going to die. Damn it. <gasps> Wait, no way. I thought we were on the last wave already. Oh, 
That worked so good. It hit more than one? Hmm. Yeah, she's having a rough time. <laughs> Oh, word, I also forgot that they... I won't say this is as much of a spoiler, but I also am still shocked that they've already released of, hey, we're gonna be doing, uh, it's gonna be Heathless chapter for season four. <laughs> it's like, we just got three! <laughs> And I did learn that the chapter order is essentially the order that characters were essentially introduced or revealed when they were coming out with the game, so... It's gonna be Heathleth, and I think Honglu and then Ryoshi are both next after that. At which, oh, this would be rough on me. <laughs> Hong is one of my favorites before chapter, and Ryoshi is probably my real favorite female next to Ishmael. Like, her and Ishmael are so close. Like, Ishmael, I feel closer to. Ryoshi, I just really like. <laughs> The mermaids, I think there's less of them now. Some of them stood there waiting for us. You must have arrived here much earlier than we have. Quite the arduous journey you've endured. The butterfly we are following folded its wings and settled gently into his sloshing head. Oh, you're definitely part of that group, aren't you? The Herman, Gregor's mother, Gudo, whoever it is, Hong Lu's brother. Uh, the figure's voice was clear and precisely unlike that of the mermaids. Damien, not like an anomaly, abnormality. I didn't expect to find anything that unharmed. Didn't expect to find any unharmed survivors. No, wait. Is he a distortion? Boy, Clockhead. You friends with that bullhead? A distortion. Like that big a bones bar and fryer zoner from earlier? I see that many of you are rather flummoxed by my appearance. This is about one of the many ways one may choose to understand the journey that is the world. So please do not be wary. Oh? The head splishes and splashes so. Under the night sky where the stars have gone out, I await the coming dawn. Call me Rim. We're not here to introduce ourselves, so why don't we cut to the chase? Explain yourself. You must have some reason for coming to this mad mermaid infested place. We didn't see any other boat other than our own by the docks, Ox of the structure, so explain how you... I have no needs for ships should I wish to cross the ocean. I am simply here to have a look at all of you. Wow, we really are starting to put our name out there. Hung Lu! <sighs> you are those who follow the Bow's Golden Rays. Okay, if you're here to see us, knowing what we're looking for... No way. Are you about to tell us where the Golden Ball is? Huh. Isn't it obvious that, he is, that he's here to stop us from? Yes, indeed I am. Man, I'm really off my game. 
To seek the Baal within the structure, it is to understand the fealty of time. I still can't sense the golden ball from deep into the branch. There was truth to what he said. The ball was no longer here. Then to where must we journey? I am certain that you are already aware that there are parties other than your own that are interested in the balls. If you have surrendered one to the M after toiling for it in fact. How did you know that? The whale, once fated to roam the outskirts for all eternity, is now drawn by that same iridescent gilding call. You're saying that the whale came from the outskirts all the way to the Great Lake of Ucorp for the Golden Bow. Quite. And swallowed the structure whole with that delicate bow. The abnormalities here have all so left with that magnificent yet fragile whale drawn by that self same calling what you seek is no longer to be found here excuse me why are you sharing this information with us it matters not who lays claim upon the golden ball or to what ends they use it it is no more or than mere fluttering of wings we simply seek to steer the echoes of that fluttering toward a better direction. We? Who are you talking about? We are those who watch all, those who buy at the time, those who will be sovereigns of a star. Yet we are, we are those who cannot all embody the same star. A red mark briefly flashed on his head. I've seen that mark before. Those who watch, you say. Yi Song shot a silent glance in Rim's direction. Rim, have you also watched the breaking of the League, then? Have you have any idea what fate has befallen our old fellows? I do. Yet you have done naught but observe. Is he one of your old friends, Yi Sung? A part of my life that you have witnessed before. One of those who left when the League of Nine scattered into the winds. You have last uttered to me that you would journey to the ocean, yet. Indeed, I was one of them, once. I shall answer your question, Yi Sung. You ask whether I have done naught but watch. That is a question born of vacuity. For you, the League is dead, yet for some, its death was but a beginning. I am certain that you are well aware of that yourself. When does something end? When does something begin? The distinction is arbitrary and signifies not. The shattering of the League was the beginning for Brother Yongji. Yongji as well. I see. You cast it aside long, long time ago. My eyes are simply open to the stem of this world. The singularity, yet all important stem. Once your eyes are open to it, everything else becomes as hollow as the fall of wilted petals. I just need to know one thing. If the golden ball is inside the whale that devoured this place, and if the golden balls can be really somehow counteract the paldification effects, Ishmael's breathing was quick and light. She couldn't finish her sentence. It can be said that indeed what you believe, what you wish to be true, is correct. I see. I hope I've been useful, been a useful signpost to you all. To where do you seek to depart again? I was once a mere pond who only, who only knew where the sea, the rivers, and the city were. Now I seek to reach there with my wings. That is all. Stop right there. You know too much. I think we're about to let you leave just like that. Pity. 
Try as you might to hold me now, I flow betwixt your fingers. Well then. With that, he stepped into the puddle and disappeared into its steps. Ah. Okay, we are still doing all right. It's still getting top damage. I'm satisfied. Oh, and remember, swap. The pallet bipedals began to fill ill the void Rim left behind. It can be deduced that this was his influence that kept the mermaids at bay. But why? It can only be theorized that their primal sense of certain ebbs and flows of energy remained even as their reason eroded. You're saying that he scared him off or something. To Clair, on his forehead, there was... Yeah. The one who bisected Krumer with a flick of his wrist, the one who silently approached me to talk. I remember the one marked with a bright red sign. I missed that in the artwork. I might have to, like flip through to see again oh this is still cool they super look like it should not be like that but uh, i'm gonna have to defend never goes well why are they healing now. now she might be staggered. Okay, now she's still fine. There's gonna be two waves, but my goal. Okay, I need blooms, and I don't have any. Unopposed, dominating, favored, 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 unopposed, favored, unopposed, unopposed. My hope for wave two is to open with the sun shower. <laughs> I love that move. It's so cool. I'm <laughs>
Not as much, but it looks like everyone got stuck. Almost everyone. Beautiful. As soon as I saw the butterfly, I was thinking it was the Damian group. I don't know their, like, organization name. Where the walls gonna start to hit, I don't know. There's hook, there's now this bitch. There's almost too many antagonists in this chapter right now. The more I think about it. Cause it started with hook and smee. Well mainly smee hook's kinda in the background of that situation. Then the middle comes into play. And then we also have the whale. <laughs> Like, too many overlaps. Also, here's an idea. So white whale, the pallid whale, the pallid whale, whatever. Moby Dick is drawn to the golden ball. Dante has golden ball within him already. Is the whale just gonna come for us? This does make me more and more so consider the fact that we might be getting eaten and fighting within the whale as the dungeon. That seems so like higher and higher probability as it goes on. <laughs> Because the whale is after eating the golden balls, and if it's not also regurgitating like everything else it was, then I guess we have to go inside and go get it. Seems like the only answer. You suck now. Oh, you still want it. あ、足ぶっ壊ぎに死んでるかいよ。万座に動かねるね。かざ。うん。誰がとあれね。さあ。まん。はっ。うん。確かに申し訳ないけど。かなり잘되네요。Okay, we're wave three at seven turns. Time for some AOE bullshit. Though no one has much AOE bullshit. Say for. Oh, that's not even AOE. I have more details on this one. Uh, awakening. Inflict Rusher and Gladiator Reason 2. 
That's corrosion. This actually seems like it's a good combo with kick up on Lou because of the rupture. Okay, dominating neutral ego, dominating, dominating, dominating. Okay, you don't like piercing and so we'll go pierce. Pierce. Yeah, we need to demolish as much as possible. One fifty two. Very nice. Oh, that was nice. Oh, I'm gonna need to repeat this chapter for EX, aren't I? Wait for it. turn nine. Let <sighs> it be another sun shower. I don't have the options for anything else. Pierce, pierce, pierce. Do that. I mean, was this gloom but weak to pierce? So probably evens out in that regard. Okay, sooner that one goes off, the better, because it will hopefully stagger. Oh, some of the ones that are covered, actually not LCB, but pirates from Hook's crew, it looks like. I just trying to start to notice that. Oh, there's one left. Forceful. That should have cleared the accent. Rim라는 자의 말대로 여기가 없어 보이네요. Looks like Rim wasn't lying. I don't think there's a golden bow here. I don't feel the bow either. Now what will you do? All our good material other than us and Lobotomy Corp branch have doubtlessly been infected. The Rim guy, if he got that mark, you think he's in cahoots with the flying blue kid from before? Are we gonna be okay? Well, he did help us at the end of the day, even if he approached us very quietly. NWCD. What were we supposed to do? Mm, I guess so. There was nothing we could have done. Nothing we... Okay, NWCD. Nothing we could have done. Still, I don't think Damien held any animosity against us. Not against you, maybe. Second manager, I still remain doubtful that of that man's intentions. He didn't even share with us what their goal was before or fleeing the scene. Oh, you must know something about that bullhead. You knew the blue. Oh, didn't you? 
Rim has changed too much. I can't even begin to fathom his intentions. Let's get out of here first. It's pretty clear that the gold ball isn't here anymore. What fate befalls those who remain? A fate we can do nothing about. I am well aware, yet... I think I understand how you f you're feeling, but sometimes you just gotta learn to let go. If there's anything I've learned from my life, it's that some things are far too gone... are too far gone to be helped. Very well, Sir Heathcliff. What's gotten into you, Heath? Didn't you know... didn't know you knew how to comfort someone one like that. I wasn't gonna suffer that last gloom. With the pallid mermaid, its unintelligible signals echoing behind us futilely. Futilely. Yeah, futilely. We decided to leave the bottom of court branch. We will likely never understand them. I'm nervous, especially for the 5.30 fight, because we're, like, almost there. We might be. Someone said that... Uh, my friend who is caught up mentioned them knowing someone who spent three hours on it. So this might be all 5.30 for the most part. And me struggling. Oh, no. I, I, I'm, I'm so nervous. Uh, we were waiting at the entrance and suddenly a sudden shock. Shook the Madame Corp branch, we hurried out and gazed into the mist and saw an intimidating looking vessel emerge. So I'm assuming this is related to the middle. Like, that's what I'm thinking is going to be the rough fight. Whoo! Okay, I need to look at who's here. I upgraded Otis a little bit, gotten her the levels needed to be in a new higher up. Uh, bring my Yoshi. Ishmael is required. Honestly, these four are like locked in almost every time. I need to start raising up some of their other identities. But otherwise, locked in. No gunball, no survivors. ATFN. I want to say it. ATF makes me think of a total failure, but I don't know what N would be. No, it was a good chance to observe art crafted from a different perspective. I suppose all that wasn't for nothing. Hmm. Okay, so she may have been saying a total failure, but then correcting herself. <laughs> because art. I hear dog. I hear dog. Lots of dog. And I wait. Well, we're gonna be a-okay. A big win always falls a big loss like this. Does it, though? We're gonna have to scour the middle of the Great Lake to find the Golden Ba. <laughs> Maybe I should have learned how to swim. Can cockroaches swim? It's not to be insulting to Craig, but... Is it even possible considering his insect... his insectness? If we are to believe Rim, that golden ball is inside the pallid whale. 
Are we truly journeying in search of the pallid whale? A whale as big as a wind? I mean, as large as a mansion? Nay, as grand as a castillo. Can we even catch something like that? No, you're all gonna get eaten. I feel it in my bones. We have some Pinocchio shit. Even if we catch up to it, what then? Ask it, it nicely to please puke the bow all back into our palms? Guys, maybe we should just go back. Go back. Oh, hi, I mean. And then what? What are you gonna do after we go back? What gives up the golden bow? What, give up on the golden ball just like that? Honestly, I feel like Ishmael should- is 100% right to be pissed here. Cause she was screaming to go another direction from the get-go. Like, she was saying, can we please just go to another one? So people wanting to turn back after they've gotten to this point? Completely justified to be pissed off. <laughs> Pretend like nothing happened and just move on to our next mission? I don't know how or when it's become acceptable in this group to throw away a golden ball just like that, but... Not me. I'm not going back. I've returned too much to go back now. Oh, I'm a little sleepy. But yeah, 100% just fine. No turning back. You made me come here. Ishmael's super right of, y'all made me come here, have to witness this, Essentially, experience re traumatize herself all from the previous incidents on this damn lake. Yeah, not turning back. There was just one thing that kept me going in this shitty company. One thing. And you know what that is, Faust? It is as Ishmael said, abandoning the golden bell retrieval evil in the present situation is not permitted. Success is still within reach. But we cannot move at this moment. It would be best that we re rendezvous with Virgilis before discussing our next course of action. <laughs> Huh, I see. It's that stupid law of the Great Lake again, huh? Yes, it is. We have two hours remaining. Wow, good work, you Cliff. You're so smart. You little... <laughs> Whoa. That was all the centers. A sudden shock shook everyone. Let's get out of here first. What madness is this? Okay, this must actually be the middle ship, I guess, then. This is the ship from the previews that I was hoping gonna be some Davy Jones ass shit. Cause light, it's ominous, him having like even a like cavalcade of Singer Bobs. Cause I was expecting I may have mentioned this during my first recording, my some of my predictions and but when it came specifically with Davy Jones, I was thinking Davy Jones would be what would bring back, say, the Pequod crew. Not that the fucking whale has this fucking mermaid parasite bullshit <laughs> to just make people it for at least a pallid whale, people oh, it eats and turn into these zombie creatures kind of thing. 
I wasn't expecting that element, I was expecting more of a Davy Jones, you die at sea, now come back, kind of thing. So, that's neat. Ah, uh, but now this must be the middle, which I'm assuming is going to be from the previews, both sort of a mixture of, say, Yakuza bullshit and seemingly a little bit of pirate bullshit on top of it. And when I say bullshit, I just mean that sort of thing. And so that's our motif. Uh, I have there are multiple ships on the horizon, beyond the wall of mist, and none of their silhouettes resemble them. And well, Mephi. What? Mist fire, maybe? Wait, look around. The water level. It'll be up to our bridges any minute. It was as Heathcliff said, when we first got onto the branch, the water level was down there, but now it has risen high enough that the waves were lapping at the platform we were standing on. It's high tide. It appears that the lake's water levels rise and fall depending on the time of day. They have launched something in our direction. Brace for impact. Here comes another. So not a misfire then. <laughs> Numerous harpoons suddenly reeled the ground we were on. I thought they were going to be firing cannonballs. They're firing some straight-ass harpoons. You do realize we're not the pellet whale. We are being bombarded with harpoon shots, blowing with nary a care whether it hits someone or not. Yoshi parried a few harpoons away with the back of her sword, but there were simply too many. Okay. So it's Twit Hook Pirates again, huh? Pretty sure it's Twin Hook. But I'll take it as him insulting and then gotta say I can respect their tenacity. Those trash are here only thanks to your very stubborn mercy, Dante. If it is the Twin Hooks, then this might be Hook. Say not such things. What Manager Esquire did that day was a judgment was did that day was a judgment of most noble. It was not an easy decision for sooth. Wait, just use your knobs for once. They're bound to that leg just as we are to this one. They're putting us all they want. It's not like them sods can drag their ships toward us. So in the meanwhile, what's it? No. That's not what the pirates use harpoons for. So that's how. Oh, it is the Twin Hook Pirates! Ah, now you know why they call us the Twin Hooks. Are you ready, kids? Who wants us to ride at the harpoon? Okay, I guess it's not the middle. The middle actually is still working with the twin hooks, though. So it's still very possible that that hard fight that I've heard about is middle related. Unless there's more than one of them. I hope not. It's going to have some which doesn't give me good hope. Murder! That's not good. Yeah, what's that? Very nice, Gregor. Yeah, 
I really love that swap move with uh, Mara Officer Otis. The throw, catch, and then whacking on the end. And even though it didn't go full because it died before that could happen. Uh, turn five, there's another wave. So, looks like it's a day for some rain. And the only other one who has... Oh, we don't have enough gloom for it. And everyone's doing pride! <laughs> yep. Even though it was lower in the chain! Time for some rain. Should be fine with win rate. I think that will kill the remaining. Hopefully. Okay, it just might be this dude now. Sadly, just short. Next group. Shit, I'm short for glooms. Which means you don't have any gloom. Yeah, that's not AoE, though. Okay. Do that, that. Might have an EX issue on this one, though. Or not, if you're actually just want to have more of those kind of shit. Or if anyone else wants to repeat what Ryoshi just did. Otis, thank you. Hidden too. That was enough. Hard <laughs> Nah, I should maybe use some of the other ones. These ones are the easiest to build for me, so... That's kind of why he gets spammed the most. <laughs>
이 순간을 어딘가에 담고 싶군. I don't know why they're giving me, especially at this level, because these feel so useless now. Oh, the big brother. Uh, okay, it's definitely in the middle. 